the aim of the today's experiment is to explain the simple and regenerative hydraulic circuit. So, first of all, I would like to discuss all the components in the hydraulic circuit. This is the pump which is connected, which is driven by a motor, and here it is the reservoir. From pump, it is connected to the direction control valve, and in between two uh, pressure relief valve is provided to adjust the pressure of the system. From uh, this is a 4 by 3 direction control valve. In this is the position of closed center position. Double double acting cylinder is present here, and from there the return stroke is again here it is given, and the direction control valve is spring loaded solenoid operated valve. And from now the working of the full hydraulic circuit, from pump the uh, fluid is passed to the direction control valve. For, uh, initially the uh, direction control valve is not operated, so it is a closed center position. So there will be no actuation over here. When we operate, when we operate direction control valve using solenoid, uh, when we uh, first operate in this condition, the fluid enters from pump, uh, pump port to A and the extension stroke uh, takes place and the fluid present in the back side of the piston will uh, come back from this port to the diagonal reservoir and when we uh, this, when we the direction control valve is operated uh, this is off and then when it is operated by this solenoid the direction changes of the fluid and the pump is connected to the B port this, this uh, port is operated so the pump port is connected to the B port and the uh, retraction stroke takes place and the fluid present over here it is again transferred from A port to the tank port by this this is a simple hydraulic circuit and now in the regenerative circuit the return port is directly connected to the pump port so in the basic difference between the simple and regenerative circuit is that the return port, the second port of the actuator is not connected to the direction control valve but it is directly connected to the pump port so when the, when the extension stroke takes place the fluid present uh, fluid first go from pump port to A port and uh, uh, and also the fluid present in the back will go from B port to again to the pump port and this increases the extension speed of the uh, actuator the pump, uh, the direction control valve is operated in this side and the uh, pump port is connected to the B port but it is a closed and here there is no connection so the full uh, fluid will pass from here to the B, B directly and the return stroke takes place this is the full uh, expansion of the hydraulic circuit and now we will perform on the left now I will start with the line diagram, connection diagram of the regenerative circuit. This is the pump and this is the reservoir. From here the pump transport, transfers the hydraulic fluid to the, through this line to the pump port and there is the hydraulic pressure relief valve. This has to maintain the pressure limit in the system. From here the hydraulic line comes and this is the connector pin. From here connect from the connector pin two lines go. So this is the pump line connected to the X forward for the forward stroke and uh, here extension take place and this is the line for the return stroke here the here it is connected to the 4 by 3 DCV in the cent close center position and from and from here the line again goes to the connector pin so these here here both the connection are taking place and this helps in completing the circuit and this helps in increasing the speed for the forward stroke, but for the return stroke, the speed remains constant, and, uh, and, and by the, adjusting this pressure into the lift knob, we can adjust the system pressure. And this is the pressure gauge for the inlet port, inlet side of the hydraulic cylinder actuator, and this is the pressure relief knob, pressure relief gauge for, gauge for the pressure relief setting. This is a simple circuit for the double acting cylinder. And uh, from, from here the pump push, pumps the hydraulic fluid and this comes in the pressure. In the inlet setup, this is for the pump and this is the pressure relief valve for setting the maximum pressure. And from here the, this is the connector pin, this is used to this from through this line the pump the uh, hydraulic fluid goes in the 4x3 normally closed position valve and from here this 
from here the fluid goes to the A port that is connected to the inlet of the double acting hydraulic cylinder and uh, when, the, when the solenoid is actuated then it is the forward stroke and after, the, and after it is the full extension we will press it to deactivate the solenoid and uh, for the return stroke we will do this for, for the retraction and after it gets completely retracted we will we will press this red button for return for the switching of the solenoid. Now we will uh, on the motor and it will uh, now the pump pumps the fluid from the uh, reservoir to the actuator. And now we will take the readings of the time taken during the extension stroke is, uh, as well as return stroke. So first of all for extension stroke the time stroke is 10 seconds and now we will come uh, again deactivate this solenoid and we will activate another solenoid and we will measure the time for the retraction stroke so during the retraction stroke the time so it is the overall time it is 17.3 during extension plus retraction so the uh, retraction stroke is uh, of uh, around 7.3 seconds so time taken during the extension stroke is more than the time taken in the retraction stroke. So this is for a simple circuit. So if you want to increase the time with time for the extension stroke, so, sorry, if you want to reduce the time for the extension stroke, we will convert this simple circuit into the regenerative circuit. So now we will connect, we will off the motor first. And we will, uh, this is the simple circuit. We will disconnect this joint and we will connect directly to the pump port. This is the pump, directly pump port will connect. This port to pump port directly. And now the pump port, this port, B port is connected directly to the pump port. So whenever the extension stroke, the fluid from pump goes to, uh, from pump port to A port, as well as the fluid present in the port B, will go to the uh, connector and again it will go to the uh, A port. So now we will on the motor and we will find again we will find the time taken during extension stroke as well as return stroke. So first of all we will on the motor first. And now we will actuate the solenoid valve for the extension stroke and we will measure the time. So the time during the extension stroke in the regenerative circuit is around 4.9 seconds. So now we will do for the return stroke. So now we will deactivate this uh, solenoid and we will activate another solenoid. So the return stroke is now possible. Now we will calculate time for return stroke. So for the time taken during the return stroke is around 6.8 seconds. So the in simple circuit and regenerative circuit, the time taken during extension stroke in case of regenerative circuit is less than the uh, that of the simple circuit. So in regenerative circuit, the extension stroke gets faster, which is the requirement of our uh, application. And the return stroke, the time for the return stroke in simple circuit as well as regenerative circuit is almost same. And this is the main observation from this experiment. So. So from this experiment we can conclude that the regenerative, uh, regenerative, in regenerative circuit we will get fast extension stroke than a simple circuit.